Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan spoke to journalists on his return flight from United States to Turkey on Friday. President Erdogan evaluated Turkey's foreign policy engagements and national security issues. Terrorism has found some degree of support in Western countries, particularly in Germany, France, and the UK. As a NATO member, we have always conveyed this discomfort to the West. We have often been left alone in protecting our countries, thus NATO's, borders from terrorism and eliminating threats. Moreover, assistance and support were provided to terrorists threatening NATO's borders, which only strengthened their threats. Erdogan protested restrictions by Germany on defense history sales, saying such restrictions among NATO allies ill befit the NATO alliance. We objected to German customs holding up the delivery of turbines for the Akuyu nuclear power plant. We need to overcome issues related to the lack of fulfillment of our Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft request, the turbines, as well as the procurement of some machines used in our frigates. On the process of F-16 procurement from United States, government ministers and institutions are closely monitoring the process to get swift results. The Turkish leader reiterated Turkey's calls for diplomacy and dialogue to put an end to the war between Ukraine and Russia. We are in contact with both Russia and Ukraine. In doing so, we are striving to be as fair as possible. We have taken a fair step in the Black Sea Grain Corridor. We have met the demands of both Russia and Ukraine. We are holding discussions with both Russia and Ukraine to reopen the Grain Corridor. However, we have not yet reached a result. I hope that we can resume operating this corridor. Erdogan stressed the importance of efforts for peace in neighboring Syria, urging all peace advocates to support this pivotal call. We have been striving for years to extinguish the fire in our neighbor. We want peace in Syria, and we expect everyone who stands for peace to support this historic call. A fair peace in Syria would benefit our country the most. The most important step in this process is to start a new era with Syria. Our main expectation is that no one will be disturbed by the process in which Syria builds a new future as a united and whole country. U.S. and Iran should welcome these positive developments and support the process to end immense suffering. Terrorist groups will do everything they can to poison the peace process in Syria. They will plot provocations and set traps. We are aware of all these plans and are prepared. Turkey advocates for the establishment of an independent and sovereign Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital, in accordance with international law and relevant United Nations resolutions. What those who want to stand on the right side of history need to do is recognize state of Palestine. A fair, just approach requires this. Norway, Spain, and Slovenia ignited the fire in Europe by recognizing Palestine. We would be pleased if France followed suit. The decision to recognize Palestinian sovereignty contributes to global peace. We call on all countries not recognizing Palestine to immediately do so. The only way to regional and global peace is through a two-state solution based on 1967 borders.